Hi friends, welcome to Future. In today's video, we are going to learn how you can create zoom in videos like this one with mid journey images under one minute in DaVinci Resolve. I shall be using DaVinci Resolve as this is free and this is available in both Mac and Windows, but you can use any video editing software that comes with keyframe capabilities. This method is so simple and it works in Adobe Premiere, CapCut, Final Cut Pro, Filmora, any software that you can name. Let's go get our images at Midjourney. Today's images are very kindly generated by Alan Dogans. He is one of those people that I personally know and is very talented who is bringing original ideas to the plate in generative AI space. He has created a stunning coloring book for adults. You can check that out. The link is given in the description. And no, this is not a sponsored video. I just want to share his amazing works with you people. One point to be noted, we are gonna keep the zoom out effect in mid journey consistent we'll be using either 1.5x zoom out or 2x zoom out or even if, if you use custom zoom there should be a same number for each generation that would make it six to seven times faster while generating the animation now let's shoot up davinci resolve drag and drop our images here let's bring the images to timeline now you all might be wondering why i am not changing the duration of the images well if i change the duration of the images now edit them and then I think that I need to speed it up a little bit or speed it down a little bit. I can't do that immediately. I have to change the duration for all the images and then have to drag each of them manually to each other. But there is a much easier way for that. I can just create the animation and then create a compound clip or nested clip for the entirety of the animation and I can just change the speed anytime or anyhow I can see fit. Now the concept is to animate the first image from zoomed in to zoomed out the exact same point where that second image starts as we have done 1.5x zoom so technically if we zoom in the first image exactly 1.5x then that would be same as the second image let's just change the zoom amount of this image to 1.5 now once we go forward and backward to both images we can see those are not exactly the same therefore i played out a little bit more with this and found out that 1.335 practically looks indistinguishable from the previous one. Now let's create the zoom out effect. We are turning on the keyframe right here and we are going to the beginning of the clip again turning on another keyframe setting the zoom as 1x. Now once we play this clip it zooms in and merges into the next image. Let's just repeat this process for all of the images and there is a nice smooth animation for all of you to see. Now let's create a compound clip so we can change up the speed a little bit. I'm selecting all of them right click new compound clip create we can go to this clip anytime and change the clip speed like 400 percent and our nice little zoom in effect is ready now you can just put in a nice little music to it and export it and it's ready to go if you want to learn how you can do the exact same thing in another free software named CapCut, you should just watch this video right here 